Did I just say cardigan? Cardigan. Where have you bloody been? Hey guys, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'm doing another styling video. And today I decided to, to style a new piece in my wardrobe. A piece that is like the, the, the style of thing is a major trend for autumn winter and also just a cult classic in general and that is the Doc Martens! So you guys will know, or you probably know, unless you're new here, in which case, welcome, um, that these are new to my wardrobe. I've only actually worn them out of the house once and the scabs on the back of my feet are still healing. <laughs> but I have been ha told that these are the comfiest shoes you will ever get once you wear them in. I went out wearing them with thin socks and I didn't even lace them up properly because I just shoved them on because they were new and I wanted to wear them and shoot them um, and I wore them quite a long period of time so I basically did everything that people tell you not to do um, I have been told some tips which I will tell you but they seem a bit crazy so one which I'm definitely going to try is covering them with a cloth and bashing them with a hammer or a rolling pin one is heating them with the hair dryer and then wearing them for a bit because it softens the leather. One is wearing loads of sleep socks. One is putting sanitary towels on the inside of the shoes. One is um, just basically bandaging your feet up with compete plasters, uh, the blister plasters. Uh, one is, this is the craziest one, soaking your socks in vodka and then wearing the shoes. Because apparently the alcohol gets into the leather and breaks it down and makes it soft. Um, but yeah, that one is the craziest one. Um, and just bed socks. Thick socks, wear them for small amounts of time. Someone said to just sit if, when wear them watching TV if you can and just like kind of work the leather with your fingers. So there's quite a few different tips there. If anyone else has got them and has any tips, I would love to hear. Um, I'm also going to do a blog post to accompany this over on my blog. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Blog post on my blog, of course. Um, with my top picks of the chunky boots. So, obviously, these are the ones that I'm styling because they're new to me and they're the ones that I imagine that I'll be sit wearing the most this autumn winter. But equally, there I have picked, done a pick of, I think, eight of my top ones on the high street so more affordable ones uh, and also ones that probably won't take as much wearing in so if you're in the market for a pair of chunky boots then make sure you head over there i'll link it in the description below and without further ado these are my five outfit ideas with chunky boots so this is the first outfit and i've got my jeans that i've been literally living in you guys will be sick of seeing them <laughs> And um, they're from Revolve. They're definitely still in stock and I think they're in sale. I don't know how many sizes they've got, but I got them um, like a year ago. But I found them in a wardrobe clear out, which is why wardrobe clear outs are so good. And we discovered them and they just look good with everything. Um, and I actually really love them with boots, how they kind of cover it a little bit. So they almost look like Doc Martin brogues or shoes or whatever they're called. Uh, and then I've got this really nice chunky jumper, which is new from Stories, and it's super cozy and oversized. Uh, and then I've got this little, my Prada bag, which I just really like. It's actually not the best choice for this, because I was realizing it just kind of doesn't fit over the shoulder. But I'm quite happy to hold it like this, and I just think it's a nice neutral bag that goes nice with this outfit. So for the second look, I went with a jumper dress. You might remember this one from my mango haul, if it's live, hopefully it is. Um, I love it, it's so cozy and also quite light, so it's really perfect for this kind of weather. It's got really nice and thin material on the sleeves too, so you can roll them up easily, which again, great for this weather. Also, it'll be great for layering in the winter, and because it is quite thin material, it will tuck perfectly in jumpers if you want to wear um, like it with jeans as a jumper. Um, so I've got the Doc Martins on with these, and I just thought it looked really nice to kind of like I don't know, it's just, I really love chunky boots with dresses for this kind of transitional period, so I thought it was a good outfit, and then I balanced it out with my Chanel bag, because I feel like the blacks and camels look really nice together, and this just kind of breaks up the big block of um, dress at the top, but obviously, if you wanted to wear it on your shoulder, then it would um, be, I feel like it's like almost a completely different look, though, I know that's a bit crazy, but yeah. So for look number three, I've gone for something that I always see other people wearing and think it looks so cool uh, and it's kind of like fluid tailored trousers 
kind of tucked but i haven't actually tucked them into doc martens i mean i couldn't actually tuck them because of the length of them i reckon if i'd have got some socks that are higher then i could have tucked them into my socks and it would have worked um but actually i just kind of like held them up and made them drop behind the tongue of the boots and it works perfectly i mean these trousers are definitely not going to fit me for much longer um they are very very tight but i just love this kind of color combination like i said before camel black and creams and all lovely neutral tones i'm obsessed with neutrals for fall or, or to winter um so yeah i've got the trousers on got a little, this is just a little racer vest I got it for like five pounds from Topshop when lockdown was happening and honestly it's probably one of my most worn wardrobe items ever. I've got this super cozy long cardigan which is really new for, did I just say cardigan? Cardigan. Um, really new, long, let me start again. I've got this super cozy lovely new cardigan from River Island and it actually comes in other colours and I just love the cream. I wore it to Bistability of Day and again it's perfect for this kind of transitional period because it's a great alternative to a jacket when you want to wear something and it's nice and cozy and i love the longer length i'll definitely be wearing this around the house as well as i'm almost like a luxurious robe uh, and then obviously i've got my doc martens on because that's what the video is about and my little chloe bag so look number four is probably the kind of outfit i'm going to be living in for autumn winter well for as long as i can wear my jeans for um so i've got this jacket which is new again a really good piece for like transitioning i feel like it's a perfect kind of autumn layer um though it is quite even though it's not lined and it's like obviously quite thin it's quite it feels like really warm material like i'm actually kind of dying in the heat and wearing it inside today and i've just got a really thin little knitted top which is a really nice texture i'll do a close-up in a minute um so it just kind of even though it's the same color it just adds a bit of interest because it's different kind of texture then i have just got my levi's jeans on my all-time favorites you guys know i'm obsessed with these jeans and they actually work so perfectly with the dot martins because they finish around the same point as a dot martin start which makes for a lovely kind of join <laughs> then i have got my new Loewe bag if you didn't watch my come shopping with me to bista village where have you bloody been uh, go and watch it it is so much fun and also i have a little friend with me who is adorable uh she loved me spoiler alert um and so yeah i've got my new little bag i haven't taken the label off yet hands up if it takes you a while to like to take stuff it stuffing and label out when you get a new bag um but it's the perfect winter bag because it's got lovely autumnal wintry green um and it's wool so yeah i feel like this kind of simple jeans chunky boots tote bag and jacket is going to be my go-to autumn winter look and then an even closer look at my um jumper as you can see i'm like just covering my boobs because it's slightly sheer and i haven't got a bra on um but it's like got this really nice kind of print on it so or like pattern texture so when i'm wearing just a plain cream top underneath this it just kind of adds a little bit of detail and interest so things like this are really perfect for layering it's also long sleeved um so it's like that extra warmth as well uh, so yeah, I just want to show you that because I love tops like this for layering and to blazers and things as well Then last but not least I had to show you a look with black skinny jeans because I feel like this is the most obvious way to style a chunky boot Maybe it's obvious. Maybe it's not. I feel like on the one hand it's obvious because I mean it's just like makes a perfect long line a uh, long black line but equally I guess maybe it's not because you would think it would make your legs and boots look crazy because like obviously your legs will look even skinnier and then the boots will look chunky but i think it's such a nice look um especially if you want a kind of smarter look and also i feel like it doesn't make the boots as like uh in your face because they kind of blend quite easily um i've made a rookie area here that i haven't got long black socks on underneath because now you can you, i don't know if you can see from there but you can definitely see from here a little bit of my skin um but we'll just ignore that um so yeah these are actually from matalan and they're actually jeggings not jeans uh and i love matalan skinny jeans i'm actually doing an ad with them on instagram on three ways to style these which is why i've got them because i don't actually need them because i've already got their last year jeans and they're still going strong they wash really well they're still black they still have loads of stretch in them and they're like 10 pounds so i highly recommend them i know this is I, this isn't an ad 
but I got them for an ad, but I, I would recommend them because I got them last year and they are so good. Better than like Topshop and stuff, which I've had. Um, and then I've got my Arquette blazer, which isn't actually in stock or it wasn't when I'm filming this, but it might be when I post it. <laughs> um, in this colour, but they do have it in black and grey and dark brown, so lots of other options. It's my go-to blazer, I just think it fits absolutely perfectly. I've just got a little vest top underneath, but the cream top that I wore in my previous outfit could work perfectly too, or a white shirt. You could do an oversized t-shirt. You could do an oversized t-shirt not tucked in, which would look really cool as well for a kind of more casual look. Uh, and then I've got my little Chloe bag. So I just felt like this was quite a good one for like, um, obviously when I say meetings, like it's a different to probably people who are watching this who go to work in an office when they have meetings. But if I had a meeting with like a PR or something, like a work meeting, this would be a good outfit because I feel, I feel smart, but I still feel like myself. So that is everything for my autumn winter outfit ideas with Doc Martens or just ch any chunky boots. Um, I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any Doc Martens and if you do, please leave some tips. Like everyone leave all your tips in the comments below and we can all help each other and go through the pain together to break our Doc Martens in and then life will be great. Um, and like I said, if you don't have Doc Martens and don't really want to put up with the pain of wearing them in or uh, don't have the bank balance because they are quite pricey, they're over £100, but I do think they're an investment. Um, then I do have my blog post where I have linked all of my other chunky boot picks from the high street, so make sure you check that out. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye.